Hello YouTube. Uh, first of all, Merry Christmas to everyone. And uh, today again, I am back with uh, another tutorial in Python. So uh, today I will be talking about URL shortener. So uh, you must have seen that, you know, for example, for YouTube videos, uh, the URL shortened and it is displayed. And also for other uh, URLs which are uh, big in length are shortened and displayed. So many times, uh, like. Uh, we we cannot determine how it is done <coughs> so this is pretty much possible in python uh, using the library called pyshortness okay so we'll discuss that today and we'll learn it how to do it okay so this is my channel uh, i usually uh, post tutorials for open systems like linux unix and the languages like uh, uh, python shell scripting etc so please subscribe if you haven't and uh, let's just let's go through this topic and we'll try to learn how to shorten a url okay <coughs> also in the coming tutorial i'll be discussing how to create a qr code for a url okay that will be my next tutorial so let's go for it okay so as i was talking uh, you need this uh, module called this is a library uh, pi shortness so if you if you don't uh, have it in your python system you need to install this first so what you have to do is you have to do pip install pi shortness okay so this will install this library in your python okay <coughs> so once you have it what you have to do is you have to uh, this this library has a package called shortness okay so from if you so because python is very you know uh, uh, self help kind of thing so you can learn python by yourself also so there is a very nice thing called help okay so what you have to do is uh, from uh, from pi shortness you have to import this package called shortness and then just type help shortness so it will tell you uh, everything about it okay so this package has two classes shortener and shortness okay so we'll be using shortness in this tutorial for shortening so it has these uh, four uh, functions expand qr code short and total clicks so we'll be using expand to expand the url uh, which is a small url and we'll be using a short to shorten a url and we'll be using qr code for qr code generation which will be in the next tutorial so uh, this is all you if you need any time you need help you can go here and check it okay so that's all uh, we'll start uh, doing it okay so let's create a program for this okay uh, url any manipulation dot py okay so let's start it so this is very interesting so you know you should know how a url is shortened and how it is expanded Okay, so as I told from this package by shorteners, we have to import the package called called uh, shorteners. So shortener uh, shortener is one of the class which is there in, in shorteners package. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll create a class of whatever it is you know you can call it as per your choice short and shortening okay and then uh, you know uh, right and then uh, we have to create a constructor first def in it okay self which is always uh, there in a class Okay, so what we'll be doing is we'll create a shortener self dot shortener is equal to shortener. So we have to give what here we need to give two things. Okay, uh, we have to specify two things. Here in the init method, you have to give two things. First is the engine, and the second is the argument which will be uh, you know uh, your uh, uid or 
your API, okay. So because you know many of the engine requires API to log in, and there are certain engines that can directly uh, shorten the URL without any API or user ID or login. Okay, fine. So let's say I'm using this uh, engine called Tiny URL, right? Okay. So you may see here we have this uh, uh, contents. These many, these many engines are available. Okay, Tiny URL is one of them. Fine. So okay. So let's try to do this. We'll do it with uh, Tiny URL first without any login or API, and later we'll see with the API also. Usually, if you are using uh, Google as the engine, we we need uh, API, Google API. <coughs> okay. Fine. So we'll to define two other methods, which will be shorten URL. Okay. And there will be one more called expand, or you can say decode URL. Right. okay so what we'll do is we will uh, use this self shortener the instance that we have created dot short method okay and it will short the url so self dot url and this self dot url will be checking from the user okay fine so we'll be taking like this raw underscore input into the url to shorten right okay and then this will print the URL which is short, the short URL is right. The self dot shortener dot short it will return a string which is short, short URL equal to. So here we'll put that right okay that's pretty much it and then we'll, uh, we'll put this similar things we can put into the code url so i'll just uh, copy this and paste it into the expand url method so here in instead of shorten we'll put expand right and here we'll be giving right okay so expand url right so how about uh, now we will create the instance of this object instance of this class so let's say app is equal to shortening shortening right okay right so let's say now what we'll do is if let's say okay we'll call the first one first the shorten okay app dot shorten url and we'll just try to you know uh, run it let's test it first okay yeah fine so we'll give it a uh, polish in the next run that the user enters uh, one then will short to will expand like that okay so yes, we have to give the executable permission okay okay so definitely there will be some errors line number nine 
so here the def method usually always have this colon okay then to the url is short let's say i give the url of facebook facebook.com okay so we are getting some error here how about if i give google.com okay we are getting error fine uh, so because you know you, you see this uh, we are getting this exception uh, whereby the exception read timeout http connection pool error read timeout okay so this is the problem with this tiny url.com so it may not work all the time okay okay uh, so it may not work all the time it will work sometimes but it will not it may not work all the time so just to make sure if it is right i'll just uh, use another engine uh, let's say we'll use google and in, in 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 case of google you have to give google api okay so you have to specify the google api right so i'll i'll just put the google api and then save it so just for the rec just for the record because i don't want someone else to use my api i'll pause the recording okay so i have kept the uh, uh, api and the and the and the engine at google engine is google and i'll i'll run this again okay so into the url is shortened let's say if i give uh, http colon slash slash www dot google dot com so you can see it is giving me the short url right so let's say if i copy this and and i go to open this is it opening google or not so yeah this is working and this is the exact url which you, which we have shortened fine so we'll go back to the program and uh, i'll edit the api code again okay so here is my program so what i have done is i have used google as the as the engine instead of tiny url so uh, and i am using this api key which is necessary for the google engine okay so this is <coughs> not the right api key i have modified it okay so this is how you can sort in the url okay now let's make it little bit better okay uh, <coughs> so what we'll do is if okay what we'll do is we'll accept uh, an option from the user option equal to um uh, int okay input enter your 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 choice okay like you know uh one to shorten okay like that so if the user enters if option equal equal one then it should uh, shorten the url and if if the option is if the option is 2 it should it should decode the url which it enters will expand the url so we will call the decode url method right else it should say wrong choice right okay so let's say let's see if it is work it, it is working or not okay so i will again i have again uh, corrected the api code so now i'll run it okay there is something wrong in the else part i'll just correct it one second okay so let's try to run it again okay now enter your choice so let's see i want to i want to shorten the url let's say i'll put my 
let's say let's put a website uh, okay shankysportal.com okay it is saying that we enter the valid url okay i missed something right http colon slash slash www dot Something is wrong again. Mm -hmm. Okay, looks like uh, we have. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm sorry. <coughs> yeah, we have to enter the choice first, which is for one to shorten. Okay, and then we'll put this URL. Okay, so okay right so it is it is giving me the short url let's try to let's try to open it if it is actually going to shankysportal.com or not okay this is a short url and it should go to shankysportal.com for oh, fine so it's working let's try to do the rev reverse into your choice two okay aha this uh, i have given this uh, method wrong okay so I'll just uh, okay. So I have given this uh, record URL as double L, which is wrong. Okay, so we have saved it now. Let's try to execute it. Enter your choice to enter the URL to expand. Okay, I think this should be yeah, expand fine. So uh, I'll this time I'll copy this one okay okay it's giving me back the original url so this is pretty much it guys it's working okay uh how about we'll we'll run some more time so into your choice one into the url to shorten http you have to keep the absolute ip address uh, sorry uh, url how about facebook okay it is giving me the it is giving me uh the the shortened URL and if I run this uh, again with choice number two into the URL expand let's copy copy this copy link address and paste it here it is expanding to okay I'm sorry that I think I put something wrong okay so this is this is pretty much working yeah so <coughs> That's all guys I wanted to uh, show you how to how you can actually uh, expand or, or uh, shrink a URL okay so we go back to our program one more time so here if you see uh, okay fine so this is it guys so uh, in my next tutorial i'll i'll be sharing how to create qr code of the uh, from a url okay and uh, that is very useful these days so i'll run it one more time for you okay let's say http colon slash slash www dot youtube.com okay so it's giving me short and url okay and again if i run it with the uh, second choice into the url to expand okay so copy link address okay it's giving me youtube fine so let's try to open this so it's going to youtube fine so this is pretty much nice and it is very simple and short okay and this tiny url right this will uh, this will work not all the time but this will work okay i have tested this it works many times but it is not working you know okay so we'll try to uh, run it one more time with this okay so let's say if i run it 
Entry press one into the URL short and www.google.com okay so you see it is working with tiny url also so tiny, that's a problem with tiny url though it cannot be reachable all the time so if you open this link it will reach to google.com so this is how it is working so i i wanted to show you that it's working with tiny url also so if i want to expand this we will copy link and it's giving me uh, okay you see it is not giving me the right back the, the original url so this is how it is like sometimes it does not work okay uh, so you see it's not working but yeah that's all so uh, you have to decide the uh, engine mostly google is preferred so for google you need api and the login and any url you don't need any api so that's all guys so please subscribe and like my channel thanks for watching